Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan, CEO of Scientitech. Thank you for having me here. Asian Unicorn Core Industry and Country Startup Unicorn are not so rare anymore. There are more than 700 of them across the world. As of August 2021, the number of unicorns in Asia totaled 231, with China as their home ground to majority of unicorns in Asia Pacific, followed by India and South Korea. The most well-funded tech startup and top unicorn investor China has 157 of them. The combined value of Asian startups surpassed 1 trillion US dollar in 2020. Syntech is an accelerator that currently takes care of and invests in the largest number of startups in South Korea. As a CEO of Scientitech, I have been posting column about Korean startup ecosystem every Monday for last four years. I have published up to 184 times already. Among them, there are six columns that I wrote based on my experience with the East Asian startup ecosystem. Let me introduce this briefly. The first column deals with China. China is ahead of mobile auto and fintech by more than two to three years. Nowadays, there is the even saying in China, uh, that's go, I will give you know-how on the continent. Then what should South Korea software development company do? Uh, there sure is the way. Uh, despite our accumulated experience, China have established a solid startup ecosystem in short term, uh, centering the so-called BAT, such as Baidu, Alibaba and Tencent. And what is lacking uh, can be solved through collaboration with local Chinese companies. The peers are the competition between of them. More they can build trust and create a reasonable trading relationship. Building joint venture is also the good way to collaboration. When they establishing a joint venture, it is important to focus on technology that can have a competitive advantage in China. In order for Korean companies to enter China and increase their competitiveness, it is advantageous for them to create a link with China BAT by Alibaba Tencent in the startup ecosystem. Leading a pack is a popular riding uh, hailing app Didi Chewing. Didi has the effective uh, monopoly on each home ride hailing market since buying out Uber's mainland Chinese operation in 2016. The second column is about Hong Kong. Hong Kong has no discrimination against foreign companies. Besides Chinese, I use English, so there are less language problems. Convenient transportation and free financial system also have many advantages for foreign startups. In particular, there are some tax benefits. GoGoBank started each operation in Hong Kong and has become the region's largest and uh, fastest growing last mile logistics company. The diversity and culture of Korean food are spreading rapidly through the YouTube channel. The unicorn candidate of K-Food, which is as well as taking advantage of this trend, is Kuket. Kuket's K-Food contents are already well known in Hong Kong and Vietnam. It is spectacular to see the startup that Japanese cyber agent has invested in South Korea. It is no exaggeration to say that it currently controls Korean startup ecosystem. The cyber agent made initial investment in flagship companies such as Kakao, Ua Brothers, and Kim Gisa, uh, which do not need any explanation. Uh, it has also succeeded in recovering large-scale investment. The role of cyber agent is uh, uh, unquestionable in that uh, it has contributed to uh, revitalizing startup since 2010, the second venture boom in Korea. 
he earned as much profit as he threw. And he also paid for the startup investment to enter Japan. From July 16 to 17th in 2018, the Global Startup Conference event called by Ignite was held in Manila, Philippines. Although the event was held in Philippines, uh, it was strictly uh, a conference by Japanese capital. Thanks to my opportunity to participate as a speaker in the event, I had many chances to uh, interact with the East Asian startups. More than 50% were Filipino startups. Uh, they seem to feel familiar with the Japan's collaboration with accelerators, uh, such as attracting investment. Chairman Joy is a pre-positioning figure in the Philippines who has left Microsoft and returned to Philippines to develop the software industry in his country. During the two days, uh, Joy and I talked a lot about the startup ecosystem in the Philippines. I felt that the role of Japanese investor was significant. Even Chairman Joy found out that he was discovered by Japanese accelerator and gave uh, various startup lectures. Uh, Japan SoftBank is continuing its development by investing in unicorn companies in East Asia. Uh, SoftBank invested in Alibaba in China and recently invested in Asian Uber and Grab at the same time to lead Grab to acquire Uber. In 2015, I met a Vietnamese startup called by Topica. There are three years growth since we had the meet a while ago. was uh, remarkable. Their sales had already grown to the size of listed companies in Korea, entered Thailand, and uh, been reading the online English education market. When I went to Vietnam, uh, there was no problem in communicating by installing Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp as a chat application. However, if you want to do business in Vietnam, you must install Jalo. Vietnamese Jalo, Jalo uh, is Vietnamese reading chat application such as Kakao Talk in Korea and WeChat in China. Its market share is region rich 80%. Jalo not only provides social media function like the Chinese WeChat, but also has various additional functions such as music and game similar with Kakao Talk. Uh, if Korea has a neighbor and China has a Baidu, Vietnam has a Vietnamese only web browser called by Coco, uh, which is, uh, is trying to so similar positioning. Uh, it is a uh, Vietnamese uh, largest uh, internet web browser company and largest uh, digital advertising platform with uh, more than uh, 22 million users. On December 2nd in 2019, I attended a line demo day in Bangkok, Thailand as a church. Uh, and I quite impressed by the level of six startups uh, that I announced. A total of uh, about 100 Thai startups applied, uh, which of six were left on final demo day. All of them are candidates for future Thai unicorns. Coco Sharem, which provides membership program and telescope that match the social media marketing franchise has been introduced as a representative startup of a BPO. Among the online and offline auto service, Goabi service, integrate application platform such as spa and massage. And six star uh, platform worker service were selected. Finally, uh, phenomena of personalized investment uh, creation service and crime B platform service related to automobile insurance uh, stood out in the fintech field. In fact, Thai startup value uh, is undervalued than neighboring countries such as Singapore, uh, Indonesia, and Vietnam. We expect many investment uh, institu institutions to uh, show invest in Southeast Asia market. Grab, a global Southeast Asian company, uh, beat Uber, was a Malaysian startup, but moved its headquarters to Singapore. Many startups often move their headquarters to Singapore when they grow in size. Because Singapore is the city-state that played a central role in Southeast Asia and economy. 
Singapore's global startup ecosystem is uh, catalyzing the global startup ecosystem, including the fact that the GDP is 81,500. They are the second largest investment potential. Uh, there are Asian headquarters of 3,500 global companies. Their human wealth is the, the best in Asia. Uh, they have a 7% lower corporation tax and uh, transparent legal system. The government system for attracting foreign companies is very well uh, systemized. In fact, in Scientitech was able to obtain various information by using government site without using local agent when entering Singapore and uh, was able to establish the corporation uh, that fit each purpose without difficulty. If you access Singapore government website, uh, there are very industry information about Singapore. From now on, I will talk about Korean accelerating ecosystem along with introduction of Sentitech. Sandbox have uh, two meanings. First, it means the territory that it allowed to test in the memory of a computer. Second, it refers to test area that can be protected before entering the market. I always explain that Accelerator should be providing incubating and investment service with the concept of a sandbox. In other words, uh, it means investment and incubating that tolerant failure. Currently, Korea has more than 300 accelerators with various government support measures. However, most accelerators complain of difficulties in operation. Each company is more focused on maintenance than growth. Currently, 1,703 startups has been invested by accelerators. But considering that the 180 of them have been invested by Scientitech, it can be seen that there are very few normal or large accelerators. Let's see why accelerator business is difficult. Scientitech has also gone through trial and error several times to find uh, efficient and uh, accurate process while investing in initial companies over past eight years. For example, under the assumption that there is the invest capital of 3 billion won, venture capital invest one company while accelerator invest nearly 20 companies. In fact, 3 billion won or 100 million won in investment entail similar effort, deal sourcing to find invest company, IR meeting, and investment negotiate are done. After due diligence, the process of preparing and conducting an investment audit report, signing the contract and executing fund cannot be omitted even if it is an accelerator. In conclusion, even same size of a fund, they must perform at least 20 times of the work. It is also necessary to employ a large number of employees to provide service to incubate risky initial companies. This column is about sharing Scientitech know-how in fund operation to accelerator industry. In summary, the change in the deal sourcing process and timing of exit were effective strategy for Scientitech. In order to increase the size of investment, even with a small amount of investment, it was necessary to streamline deal sourcing to inbound method that is different from venture capital outbound method. Scientitech established Sanditech established a channel that frequently received investment inquiry through broadcasting, column, and various promotion and opened in August 2019 by maintaining inbound process that responds quickly in real time. We also changed to respond system to investment inquiry to top-down in order to maximize the investment using 
insight of successful entrepreneur. An important element of accelerate business. For inbound telesourcing marketing, when the investment inquiry is received by email, the successful entrepreneur notifies whether IR meetings are held through first response. Of course, startups uh, that cannot have an IR meeting are informed with the incubating program or KPI for IR meeting. On November 2019, the Representative handled more than six investment inquiry in a month and conduct uh, the second IR meeting. If assigned to each investment team in charge after second IR meeting, each investment team will check in detail after sending the term seat. Fintech have 10 investment team as the second IR meeting took place about 20 times a week. Uh, it was modified to June meeting. At this time, the productivity grew very much and it stood out more in a COVID-19 situation. The part that we attempt to change in accelerator investment business model was when exit should be done. It was decided uh, that it needed the different timing of exit from venture capital and proceeded by selling the stock of three investing companies that attract Series B investment to a secondary fund in 2018. As a result, we recovered uh, 2.6 billion won and achieved more than twice the total amount of investment invested to 40 companies. Centitech called this process 5G Accelerator 2.1. With this process, more than 2,000 startups have been uh, incubated and 185 of them were invested. Among them, uh, more than 50 startups succeeded to in attracting follow-up investment and uh, collected investment from 17 uh, startups. It was a fast uh, process of also with a great performance. Especially in 2020, we invested in 78 startups over a year, which broke the Korean record for the most investment in a year. This is my last mentoring story for my investee. Uh, this book is called by Super Pumped by Mike Isaac about Uber. If investment startup succeed in attracting the Series B investment, I collect the investment and uh, give a book to the founder as a gift when the final mentoring is uh, conducted. Startups that have attracted Series B no longer need the incubating of an accelerator. It is because uh, it has more than uh, 10 million USD in capital uh, on the overage. Afterward, it is necessary for them to manage to company on their own, and it is necessary to establish the internal control system. This book explains the biggest mistake of Uber founder, Kalanik, it is failing to build internal control system. It is both the last part of my mentoring and the lesson of this book, uh, arbitrary management should be avoided by forming HR team to organize the matter and forming the legitimate board of directors and getting their check. Okay, this is uh, my presentation. Uh, thank you all.